hypersensitive Muslims, and gentlemen, I'd like to address briefly the fiasco around the uh, video Innocence of Muslims by one Nakula Basali Nakula, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I'd like to make this point before I go to a clip by Rush Limbaugh, which he had, uh, he said this on his program yesterday, where he kind of pointed out that there's a little selective outrage here. Um, let's say, let's assume for a moment that all these, all these uprisings are because of the film Innocence of Muslims. Just, just assume that. Why are Muslims so hypersensitive? Are you, I mean, is, are you, are they so hypersensitive and so unable to compete in the arena of ideas that they have to, uh, go out and some of them go bonkers and start burning buildings and committing acts of violence just because somebody poked fun at their prophet Muhammad. Somebody, I would never take away anyone's right to make fun of the Bible or poke fun at Jesus because we have freedom in this country and you have to deal with it. You win in the arena of ideas. I would never take away the right of an atheist or anyone else to poke fun at Jesus. So why do these people it just they come off to me as very hypersensitive and those on the progressive left who are trying to blame this on this film you do realize that uh, that's a double-edged sword and it cuts both ways as Rush will explain in his clip and I'll also add to this I'm not including the part but he he mentioned that later that the progressive left wanted to be able to find someone they could paint as a Christian or a conservative or both and blame this on them. So even if this entire uprising is because of this film, why are why are they why are they so hypersensitive? Big deal. Someone made fun of your prophet. If you believe that's the truth, and you're convinced that your that religion is the truth, then somebody poking fun at it should make no difference to you. Because I know Jesus Christ died for my sins. And if someone makes fun of that and I'm forgiven for all the evil I've done, big deal. It's still the truth whether you make fun of it or not. So uh, quit being so butthurt, you people, to use a term a friend of mine uses, Jeremy Oyer uses a lot of the time. Quit being so butthurt, progressives, hypersensitive progressives and hypersensitive Muslims. Quit being so butthurt over someone poking fun at your paradigm. Grow up. And I also have to mention this, it's sad, but I have to. Just because I agree with Rush on this doesn't mean I agree with him on everything else. So just in case someone comes on here and tries to segue into a myriad of other topics, doesn't mean I agree with him on, say, his uh, interventionist foreign policy. Just to keep those from trying to segue, because they'll make the attempt. It won't work, but they probably, even after... Uh, saying this, they'll probably still try to do it. In a relatively new realization, but as a point of illustration, Bill Maher's movie, I'm a religious, re religious, ridiculous, religious, and it, it excoriates every religion. And the last 20 minutes of it brutalizes Islam, laughs at it, makes fun of it, and you probably don't, the movie grows 13 million bucks. Nobody knows. Which is very important. Nobody knows it. It, 13 million, so some people saw it, but apparently no Muslims went to see it. Now let's contrast this with this YouTube video. Because this whole thing, this whole thing in the Middle East Somebody contrived it and planned for it and set it up using highly influential or easily influenced uh, poor people in the populations of these Islamic countries. They didn't know about the YouTube video. They didn't see it. They didn't see Bill Maher's movie. If they'd seen Bill Maher's movie, they'd have raised holy hell about it. The Care Gang would have gotten in action just like they did on the Danish or Dutch cartoons, whatever it was. But nobody saw it. And nobody told them about it. And they didn't see the YouTube video. But wait, how do they know about that? Well, somebody told them.
who and what. Somebody wants this happening. Somebody or In closing, folks, anti-defamation laws and laws against, uh, well, they're going to use it to squelch free speech. I don't condone violence against Muslims or against Mormons or anybody else just, you know, for the sake of it. Um, you know, if someone's breaking into your house, obviously that's different, different, uh, persp uh, different situation there. But anti-defamation laws are going to be used basically to uh, squelch free speech, and people should be allowed to critique any religion they want, that includes atheism, without threat of violence. So those in Libya who are upset over this video are just showing that they can't compete in the arena of ideas, and if you dare criticize their paradigm, well, then they're going to go shoot people and burn buildings.